ends up in the White House as the senior advisor to the president, takes charge of the Build Back Better program, and then just last week becomes the social secretary to the president, the first Asian American, Indian American ever in that position, Neera Tandon. Thank you, everyone. I just, Shaker has been such a great friend for so many years that I'm surprised that he uh, got the title a little wrong, which is I am uh, the staff secretary to the president and not the social secretary. You know, I could, I think I would be pretty good at the social secretary job. I'm Indian, I know how to do a good event, but alas, I am the senior advisor to the president and uh, and staff secretary, which means that my role is to organize uh, the information and the decision making and uh, the policy process for the president. So I am, I am the highest ranking Indian American at the White House. Um, excellent. For those in the back, I can be a little loud. I can even be a little louder. Um, so, <laughs> so. I just have a few messages tonight. I know you've had a long evening. Um, first and foremost, on behalf of the president I and the vice president, I want to say how, mu how grateful we are for the voices in the, of the Indian community, how, how grateful we are for your voices in the political process. Uh, I am so thankful you are here. I have been in Washington for the last two decades, and when I first started in the Clinton administration, there were very few Indian Americans in the government, and we could not have events like this because we did not have leaders like you participating. And so first and foremost, I wanna thank you for being here. Thank you for being in Washington. Thank you for your voices, for your engagement in the political process. And I really want to thank you for all the more you will do, more than you've done, more you will do in the, you know, in the months and years ahead to grow uh, our activism, energy, and voices in the political process. I have said before many times that what I've learned in Washington is that if you are not at the table, you are on the menu. And that is why... It is so vital that you are here. It keeps on. We are on the precipice of the largest scale legislation I have seen in my lifetime, and I've been working in various administrations. Uh, the Build Back Better legislation, as well as the infrastructure bill, and that is why it's so vital that we have your voices here now. I could not be uh, more honored to be here today uh, and really honored to be with so many leaders in the Indian American community who are walking the halls of Congress and in this administration. So m as we celebrate the volley and uh, the light in our lives, I am grateful for your voices that are lighting the way not for the leaders we have now, but for what I hope will be more and more generations of Indian American leaders in Washington. This is really the beginning, and I am grateful for your leadership to create the conditions for the change we are seeing just through the course of my time here. So thank you. Thank you for the great friends that we have. I remember being uh, uh, at India Spora almost a decade ago, and it is amazing what has grown to with your support. So I want to thank MR, Shaker, so many other people who are here. And really, again, say thank you to everyone. I'd like to just give a round of applause to all of you for what you're doing. Thank you.